Welcome back to a different topic, and this and uh, a roof cladding in techless structures. Uh, that is the topic we're going to handle now. And if you take a look on the screen here, you can see we have uh, a roof on top, a roof here, and some rod in place. So uh, the purpose of this rod is just to is because underneath the roof monitor here, we had created a roof monitor here just for, for ventilation and some add some uh, light at the end of it. Now, a reason why is because our sheet will extend up to close to the to this column here. Then it will bend like that so that to 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 to, to block the fallback of rainwater coming into the, into the building. So that's why we, we we created this. So we want to create a fillet here, then convert this member into a sheet that will will now be used as a as a cladding sheet here. Now let me just begin my my fillet here. So I'm going to select on this member. And remember, this member stretches all the way to the full length, or to, 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 to the full length of this of the sheet. We'll not break it down, and uh, just for the purpose of cladding. Now let me just uh, double click on that handle. So once you double click on that on that handle by double clicking on your left button, that will bring this uh, corner chamfer dialog box. Then uh, under shape here. We'll click this drop down arrow and we'll pick round, rounding. So then in here, we'll just key in 300 and we'll go ahead and click modify and see that is the chamfer we, we have. So this is the curve that we want our sheet to, to take once we, we begin uh, cladding. So I'll come here and double click on it. And uh, now come to applications and component here and I'll just type panel. So because you're going to use a tool called or a macro called a panel that will, will, will convert it into a sheet or cladding sheet. So let me just scroll down so that I get hold of it. Let me scroll up and I think it's somewhere here. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. So just you just click on it. So the moment you click on it, we'll be able to use it. And I had done so. So let me just take you to the process that uh, will help you uh, do a similar thing. I had done it somewhere here. And let me just... Uh, Place it somewhere, define that length. It can take any length. The length is defined by the, the two points you'll pick. So I have this member here, but as it is, it's still a macro because if I double uh, double click on it, I'll have this particular structure panel database. So I want to, once I've selected on it like, like that, then I'll, I'll go ahead and right click and come to explode and explode it so that it just become uh, a profile or a component. So if I double click here, you can see it's now uh, a general profile. So I'm going to copy this profile like that by selecting it and come to copy. Then I zoom out and come to this member that I have trimmed and, and, and uh, gave a fillet shape there. So I'm going to click on it here so that I want to change this to a sheet. So I'm going just to paste this panel here, then click copy. So you'd see this taking the shape of my sheet. So let me just uh, click on it and change the color coding and give it uh, that one. It, that will be okay. So let me come to navigate and pick on that spot and try to rotate this like that. And now I want to slightly push it inward. So once I pick on it, once I pick on it, I'm going to give it like uh, I want to take it to the to the left. And that's okay. I'll come to navigate here and uh, just turn that around, and that's okay. So we want to populate this along along the the y axis. You can see that the y axis is pointing that direction. If we take a look there, so we uh, since the total length of this uh, of this is uh, approximately eighty something. So to confirm that, I want to I want to click on these points. These are the points that defines the the length. So let me just come to edit there and come to measure and pick on the distance. And I'm going to snap on this point and stretch stretch away all the way to the other end here. Let me just zoom out so that I pick the the farthest point that I had created initially. So that point is somewhere here. So let me just zoom close and I think I'm on the right position. If I click on that, it's 84600. So 84600, since the width of our sheet is uh, 900, we'll divide this by 900 and uh, we'll get uh, 24 pieces. So I, I want to populate this at, uh, at, um, along the y-axis uh, 
at with the 94 pieces of sheet uh, stretching that length full length so i'm going to just select on this then right click and come to spatial copy here and pick on linear so once i've picked on linear i'm going to come on the y-axis here and prefix and and uh, i will not prefix because prefix it be with an negative sign because you're moving on the direct on the positive direction of our y-axis now what i'm going to do here and i'm just going to key in 93 because we already have one uh, sheet in place so we'll have just 93 in place so if i go ahead and click copy we'll just give some time to copy or to digest that information so once it is done i'll be able to come here and zoom out and if i zoom uh, if i zoom close to the other side we'll be able to see that we have actually populated that populated this to the full length of our building so if i turn like that you can be able to see that has been created and uh, that curve has been respected all the way to the to, to the full length of our building now this also can be mirrored on the other side so if i right click and come to interrupt and right click and come to special copy here and pick on linear or, or pick on mirror and since we we want to work with the uh, with the midpoint on the on the gable side we'll have to count how many do we have we have one two one two three on the other side you have one two three so our midpoint is somewhere here so i have to to snap on that spot and snap on this spot to mirror this member on the other side so if i click mirror i'll be able to see whether i can be able to copy this on the other side so let me just uh, go ahead and click copy if i copy that that will be well and good so let me just right click and click copy so i don't think whether it has copied anything let me just uh, turn that around hasn't copied anything so what i'm going to do once again is just to to reset or to place my xyz here on this section here you can see okay i understand the problem is because our xyz plane is not uh, respecting the direction where we intend to go so let me just come here and come to x uh, come to work plane tool here and just uh, place my work plane tool just click on the surface of this ridge so once I've clicked there, I'll let first of all check whether it is straight. Not straight. Let me just come to a plane tool once again, and I can just uh, click anywhere there. So that has been done. So I've reoriented my XYZ plane. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click once again and come to special copy. And I think my middle line is still defined. So if I go ahead and click copy, I think I'll uh, I'll copy that, but it's still not re respecting the, that request. So the next thing I'm going to do is very simple, is because uh, this member is still active, this this switch button. So let me go and uh, disable it, then come and select on this, right click and come to special copy and pick on mirror. So once I've picked on mirror this time, I'm going to move to the bottom end here and define the mirror line here. I'm just going to mouse over that spot and mouse over this spot and zoom out so that yeah, we see the action taking place. So let me just come here and click copy. So that should copy. But if you see that we are being requested to expand, means that there's something absolutely wrong. The direction has been uh, ignored. So let me just uh, give some time and uh, click that. Then we see where has it been copied. Absolutely not the best option here. Now, let me undo that once again and come back here. So once I've come back there, I'm going to right click once again it has to work and I'll click mirror so once i've picked on mirror i'm going to use these two points here the top end and this top end here and click copy so if i try that and click ok and zoom out and still not copying so the next thing we should do is just to create a similar uh, member curved and uh, shaped to that uh, filleted to that uh, uh, shape and uh, convert it to a sheet as we had done before now at that side uh, that way we'll be able to 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 create that so let's just do that straight away instead of copying this so i'm going to do that by now or oh, what i'm going to do by now is just to to copy the points that we had created on this section here on this section here let me just come back and uh, select this member then hide it so once i've hidden this 
I'll click on that stop uh, that drop down arrow come to navigate here and I want to rotate this so that I can get hold of the points that I had used previously to create that so I'm going to click on that select on that point click on empty screen here click on empty screen and uh, close that let me just zoom out and I want to pick on that point press control and pick on that point that those point those two, uh, uh, those two points are enough and if I add this one here add that one to um, my selection then uh, what I'm going to do once again is to just uh, right click and come to spatial copy then I'm, I'll come to mirror so I'm going to use this center here to create a mirror to, to mirror those points on the other side so once I've mirrored the, 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 those points on the other side I'll be able now to create uh, a rod and give it a curved shape like that like we had done before so let me just come to navigate and I have that in place so you can see we have this in place but I, I, I think it wasn't taken into account so let me just uh, turn this around and it seems we have we actually we, we have the points in place but it seems it wasn't respected at all so let me just uh, double click on it so once I double click on it we'll be able to make some changes there so let me right, right click there and uh, pick on this member so if I pick on that member I'll be able to change this to a rod let me just change this to a rod let me just uh, double, once I've double clicked on it let's try change this into a rod so that we can also uh, manipulate it to a different shape so let me just uh, scroll up and we'll come to circular sections here so under circular sections here, I'm going to pick ID and uh, you can just leave it at that thickness or that diameter of, of, of 50 and I'll just go ahead and click OK. So since that it has taken that shape, uh, we can come here and click navigate. And if we rotate that, you can see we have that shape in place. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is it should be simple as this. It should be, a, it should be super simple. Then uh, let's first of all double click on it once again. So once I've done so, I'm going to right click. I'm going to, to click on this member. So once I've picked on it, I'm going to select it like it is and pick copy. So once I've picked copy, I'm going to ch change this. I'll, double, I'll click on it once again and come here and, and paste that and click that way. So that has changed. But there's another thing that comes with it it is this way because our xyz plane is has taken a, a is in a different shape so uh, the curving is not right so what i'm going to do once i've done so let me just uh, click undo so what we, i'm going to do i'm going to work plane tool here so under work plane tool i'm going to parallel to plane then click change so once i've clicked on change close that then I'll come here again. So once I've selected um, selected it like that, then come to D50 there and paste it here. So once I've pasted that, I'm going to click on that. So I think still is not responding, respecting the curve we expect. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, to try and rotate this. Try we try rotate this top front turn that let me just come here come to v come to middle and rotate that and uh, i think there's something we, we need to correct and let's do that on the on, on the next part of the same same roof we, we need to rectify that but you don't want to take so much time so let's handle that on the next part of the same same topic let's meet then